I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Patrick Cruikshank, the CEO of Nine Mile Metals and Gary Lohman, the VP of Exploration for Nine Mile Metals. Gentlemen, I have to say it's an absolute pleasure to have you on. How are you? Thank you. Very nice to be here. <laughs> Doing well. Uh, now, we are in danger of having far too much fun in today's conversation. So let's kick off. Patrick, I'm going to start with you. Uh, what is Nine Mile Metals and where are your projects located? Um, Nine Mile Metals is a Canadian public junior uh, mining company based in New Brunswick in the famous world class Bathurst mining camp. We focus primarily on critical minerals exploration but we do have a deposit already in our portfolio called the wedge. And we do have the highest grade lens, the first part of a broken deposit discovered in the uh, Eastern part of our portfolio. We are traded on the Canadian Stock Exchange and our symbol is N-I-N-E. Uh, it's a great ticker that you've got there. Uh, Gary, I'm going to come to you now and uh, tap into your geology background. Uh, what excites you about these projects for Nine Mile Metals? What excites me is we've amassed like four projects and we've got uh, the perfect like host rocks. They've been uh, proven to be very, um, uh, very well mineralized. There are deposits in them. Our land packages are large, and it's taken us time to put put these project areas together. There, as Patrick mentioned, we've got four main areas, and we started at a high level doing uh, reprocessing legacy geophysics, and identified these specific areas within the, the host rocks, and with that we had uh, late time EM conductors. We've advanced all that with doing detailed drone magnetics, which is uh, like exceptionally fast now. We, you can get a lot of data in a very short time. And all of our projects have had detailed groundwork done from time domain EM, um, IP, a um, lot of geology and prospecting. So we've done an, a massive amount of work in the last few years and got to a position where we've done some diamond drilling and borehole EM on specific projects. So we've got plate modeling. Um, we've advanced these, everything pretty much to the drill stage. So we've got a couple of years of hard work ahead of us of, with very advanced data sets. Uh, Gary, I'll come back to you for further details on those exploration plans in just a moment. But Patrick, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what makes these projects so compelling in this particular market? And I guess the, what I'm trying to get at is what is so street strategic about where their location is and why their metals are important? Well, obviously, <clears throat> there is a global push now for critical minerals and, and sovereign funds and, and countries. Um, obviously, that's in the news every day. Um, the nice thing with VMS deposits is you have copper, lead, zinc, silver and gold very economic and, and they're large deposits. So we are located, we have about 140 square miles, square kilometers of, of size and scale in two major portfolios. Um, so, and we're on the very strategic contact in the camp where there's 45 deposits in this mining camp of which 25 of them are over 1 million tons our wedge deposit, and these come in, 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 in clusters, VMS deposits, underwater volcanoes, vents, so on. Um, and, and, you know, we have our own deposit called the wedge. We just had a drill program last fall up to, you know, 136 meters of half to three quarters copper equivalent, etc. cetera. And, um, and, and, you know, 42 meters at X, all those are on our website and our, and our corporate deck with our assays. And we're going to prove that's bigger. We drilled the eastern flank, which is all new and had all these new um, and, and phenomenal results. So this spring, we've already press released in January that we're, we've done the 3D uh, geophysics, UAV drone, uh, magnetics, everything, and modeled this and come up with seven targets 
in the shadow of the wedge mind along trends. So these bigger four, five, six, seven, eight kilometer trends, that's just one of 11 trends we've identified on our property in our Western portfolio. If you go to our Eastern portfolio, um, we have a lens uh, called Nine Mile Brook, and it is the highest grade lens in the camp. It was over 10% copper, you know, up to 13 meters uh, with, with 600 grams per ton silver, one and a half grams gold, up to 30% plus lead zinc. And it's a lens. So you think of these big deposits that are calling bricks and there's so much um, thrust faulting over hundreds of millions of years, they get broken up into lenses. And once we found the first one, it's at sur close to surface and now we got to find the other ones. But these are all subsurface deposits. There's only 1% out crop in the whole camp, those have been found, um, you know, and, and it's difficult. It's going to take advanced geophysics, but every 20 years, there's a breakthrough in technology and there's a rash of discoveries and, um, and the government and, and us, we also, we believe what they believe, which is there's only been about 30% of the deposits have been discovered. Still 70% out there. There's still big ones, which we believe we have on our property in California Lake. Another one like the Brunswick 12 and the famous Brunswick 12 was discovered on the 12th drill hole. It was 335 million tons, almost to the size and scale of some of these big IOCG projects, right? They're monster systems. And that's uh, kind of why we, we have Gary driving that ship and, and his job is to find that and find the rest of them. But um, we've taken all of last year doing a massive geophysics program and we're going to have the fruits of that now. We have our geophysics model. We have two fantastic companies, EarthX and Apex Geophysics, and uh, doing the modeling and, and identification, interpretation, and uh, with their algorithms and so on. And we have at least three years worth of drill targets going forward on our Western portfolio. Gary, I'm going to come to you. Uh, and clearly there's no pressure applied here, but your job is to go hunt for these monster systems, which I love. Tell me, what does the exploration program look like? Obviously you've got a lot of data. Uh, what can we expect to hear over the next few months? Um, like as Patrick mentioned, we've got uh, a lot of this has already been modeled and uh, we've got, not only just the geophysics, there's all the legacy data. So we're dealing with from that, say, satellite scale where we identified the late time conductors. Now we've got plate models at the wedge. That's where we're going to start drilling in, um, in this beginning of this season. And that those targets are like subsurface. Uh, we've got six of them outlined at an area where we've got VMS at surface in trenches and historic drill holes and they're coincident with soil, uh, copper and zinc soil anomalies. So that's that's gonna be our main focus there. California Lake, we again, we've got uh, time domain EM targets that have been modeled and we're in the correct stratigraphy, we're in the right rocks and we'll be following up with drilling there also. And in the Eastern side at Nine Mile Brook, uh, as Patrick mentioned, we are dealing with very high grade uh, a lens there, the geophysics, the IP uh, survey that we've done. We've got multiple targets. And again, we're in this uh, very favorable rocks. And this uh, formation, the California Lake, we're in the same sort of rock formation on the east and the west side. We've made sure we've uh, acquired this 130 square kilometer plus land package and projects all in the same suite of rocks. Uh, listen, Patrick and Gary, thank you so much for joining me uh, today. It certainly sounds like there is a compelling opportunity and I love the idea of hunting for monster mineral systems. It's been a pleasure speaking with you both. Thank you so much. Thanks for inviting us. Yeah, thank you very much.